in the same kind of atmosphere that permeates Skokie now, that everything is wrong because the Nazis are going to Skokie. But it is, well, blase. The Nazis are bombing a few niggers in, in Marquette Park. They knocked the brains. You know, a bus driver was killed the other day with a brick. You understand? So bricks kill people. Any man who is caught throwing a brick at a man should be accused and, and he should be taken to court and found guilty of attempted murder, you see. But thousands of brick throwers in Marquette Park were treated with little pats on the hand, uh, uh, some resistant arrest, others uh, disorderly conduct. Never anything more serious. Nobody has been worried about the Nazis in Marquette Park for the last 10 years, except uh, some blacks who were beaten up or, and a couple organizations. Well, we are able to be involved and to speak because we are not funded by none of the foundations. And I want to make that clear because the foundation trick in America is one that totally controls the so-called black free mind and the black civil rights organizations. All organizations who receive grants from government and are philanthropist foundations are controlled. And when they speak out and pretend that they are leading our people toward freedom and free positions, they err and they align. They cannot. There are no way that you can pay me and continue to pay me unless I do your will. So when Master pays a man through his grants and philanthropy, he controls him. So far, we have allowed ourselves to stay free through the little kinds of fundraising things we do and what we sell and, and the way we live. And if we attempt to amass large uh, staffs and take grants, we could have been told to stop participating in Marquette Park anywhere else. I participated with all the civil rights organizations. But you find out at a certain level, they tell you what to say and what you cannot say. I'm saying that the atrocities in South Africa are worse than the atrocities that are happening in Marquette Park. They're worse than the atrocities that's going to happen in Skokie. Now, the Nazi is the devil reincarnate. The Nazi is a sick mind. The Nazi is a fascist and a terrorist mind. But the Nazi, carrying the label of American citizens, have a right to march through Skokie as long as they don't attack anybody. The Supreme Court has said it, and when men say it, they say, well, you side with the Nazi, I don't side with anybody. But they use the same tactics on us in Cleveland, Mississippi. They said that we were niggers and we shouldn't be allowed to march by any means. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they use the same tactic against Dr. King. They use the same tactic against us in Marquette Park, saying that these, these are rabble-rousers. They don't represent any segment of the black community, so they shouldn't be allowed to march or participate. And I'm saying the so-called black leaders who went along with that trend of thought and that philosophy are, in fact, part and parcel, bought and controlled. Well, Jews will say that they have suffered so enormously from the Holocaust, which was perpetrated by the Nazis, that Nazis are not only a political question, but a, also a question of just downright evil. And the uh, American political system should, uh, in a certain sense, protect these people from the evil which they have already experienced. If we would base justice on that philosophy, we would go back and find all the descendants of Jefferson and put them in a concentration camp, in jail, for the many of our brothers and sisters that they killed. If we were to pursue that philosophy, we would go into Arabia and capture many families of the Arabian, uh, the Arab families who participated in slavery. If we were to pursue that philosophy, we would find the descendants of Washington and Lee and many, many other, the Jones and my name is Jackson, who were slave masters and who killed many of our brothers and sisters. And we would pursue those people and, and kill them and, and, and put them before tribunals and courts and, and convict them and kill them. In other words, I'm saying 30 years later, it is time for a jubilee. It is time to forget about the Holocaust and to stand against that Holocaust never happening again. It is time to stop going into every closet looking for a, a Nazi war criminal. You know, we could have been the criminals if Hitler had won.
We could have been the criminals. My uncle died in Germany fighting to save the people who were there. But who goes out and fights really for the black man? That trend of thought pursuing all of the roots and seeds of those who participated in a war so massive and so destructive. Historians have 50 million black men perish in the Atlantic Ocean. Endless villages and home were pilfered and torn asunder. But we are not hunting anybody to kill them or punish them now. We're saying it's time for men and women to rise above the mentality of trying to go out and, and to get a kind of revenge. Do you think that the Nazi problem here in Chicago has been overplayed at the expense of uh, other pressing social issues in Chicago? The Nazi problem, as we have stated for many, many years and times in the past, in the last three or four years, the Nazi problem isn't a major problem. The Nazis are a few people who go out and physically attack. But where do they get their financial support from? You know, what happens when the what happens when the um, Illinois bells, you know, turn off the people's gas in the middle of the winter? A family with six, seven, eight, ten children, and they freeze. We go out in houses like that and get people out. What happens when a phone is a is a, is a lifeline for people to to reach a hospital? Uh, people who are crippled and the phones are turned off for 60 or 70 dollars. You know, what happened when, when these other firms, the light people turn off the gas and, uh, I mean, turn off the lights and, and some of these houses, the lights are, are a lifeline because electricity affords the kind of modern technology which, which keep people living in certain houses. They don't know. They just come up and cut them off for 15 or 20 or 30 or 40, 50 dollars and they don't care. I'm saying that the Noxy threat isn't a dangerous threat as some of the major monopolies who would turn your phones off and your lights and everything else you have and uh, then make you put up a massive deposit and, 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 and a, do nothing about it. The, the citizen can do nothing about it.